like, comment and subscribe. US vs India pizza. Food was this should be good. From Kaggy Kong to Portion Sizes, we want to find out all the differences between Pizza Hut in the US and hmm. in India. This, this is Food Wars. It looks pretty similar. These small this is always the, the big difference. Personal pan pizza. And it is six inches across. In India, our pizza size is seven inches wide and has four slices. Huh. They the US also has a small pizza, but only with the gluten-free crust. And it is huh? difficult, 10 inches wide. So depressing looking. Then yeah. the medium the pizza, the medium pizza here in India is 10 inches and has six slices. A US medium pizza comes in at 12 inches wide. There's going to be two more bigger sizes if I have to guess the for US. US. People in the US, sometimes it's just really hard not to see what you guys. Next up in India, we have... Nothing, because medium is our largest size. That's right, we have only two sizes, Wait, personal or medium. Really? Medium. No large for us because huh. pizza is good up with like dominance. <laughs> Stereotype away. I said only a medium. We got this large, and it is 14 inches in diameter. So America How the hell do you even eat that? Four inches wider than India's largest. That doesn't sound so bad. Well, that's definitely If you calculate like the surface area of the two pizzas, those few inches make a big difference. The Indian medium has a surface area of 78.5 square inches, while the U.S. large clocks in at 153.9 square inches. Yeah. It's almost double. See, you're losing math. That's a 96% what the heck? increase. That means the U.S. large pizza is nearly double our Indian medium. How the fuck? What the heck, pizza heart? <laughs> The type of crust you get doesn't affect the width of the pizza, but how does it affect the value? We're going to weigh a medium huh. pan crust slice versus a medium pan crust slice to see which one gives you more pizza for your money. All right, I'm going to do the same with our pan and San Francisco style pizza. Uh, they're medium size. All right, so medium pan toss weighs 94 grams. Pan thick boy. Boy! Whoa! 104 grams. Oh. That's a difference of... What was the first one? Damn. Uh, that's, that's a difference of this many grams. <laughs> this one is pan style and weighs 70 Already grams. Already so much this less. This slice weighs eh? 66 grams. Fairly lighter. And I think this is because when they oh, heat it, heated it back. press it down into the pan. That's still a lot less. less. This weighs more and therefore is more because it's more bread. You have to change the sauce. You have to find stuff, right? I don't know. Oh, wait. This is going to trouble. Oh, yeah. Here, everything you'll find on the menu at Pizza Hut India that you'll not find in the US. And here all are all the Pizza Hut menu items from the US you won't find in the US. The hell is a box? Let's start off with the foundation of any pizza, the crust, starting with the San Francisco signature style. I don't, remember, I don't think I've ever had pizza, this. But they press the dough in with their hands, so it's kind of a hand toss. Next up, we have something very special. It's a Chezwan pan pizza. Oh, yeah. I've heard of it. Oh, my God, yeah. I really like it. It's spicy. Really, yeah. Just to give you some comparison, the way chicken tikka masala was invented in the UK, but clearly inspired by Indian cuisine, Chezwan sauce is actually invented here in Kolkata by the Chinese community that settled down here. Oh. But it's obviously inspired by Chinese cuisine. And yeah, now it's become obviously. part of Indian cuisine. We have accepted it wholly and we eat it mm. all across India. Very yeah. exciting to see it integrated into the Pizza Hut menu. And it actually tastes very good on this pizza. Next yeah. up, they have a stuffed cheese crust oh, max yeah. with two X's for <laughs> emphasis. You can already see that this thing is loaded with cheese. Next to the cheese, alongside it, there's like a... I don't know if it's tastes good, actually. Pizza Hut is calling Peruvian creamy sauce. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, yeah. This good. Is decadent food. Next up, we have stuffed decadent, crust, uh, yeah. with veg kebab. That's right, if you don't know what kebab is, it's basically meat what? It's cooked with stuffed in, like, with kebab. If you don't know what tandoor is, please go watch the older episodes of Food Wars. I've explained it eight times. A lot of people <laughs> like to leave the crust behind. But I feel like pizza is making sure all of the pizza are eaten. Because even this yeah. looks like a dish in itself at this point. Oh my god, it's really young. And the final option, non veg kebab, of course. With a non vegetarian kebab. Ooh! That looks good. This so is much uh, what looks to be chicken sheet. Oh, that's 
I'm pretty sure that's just a normal one. They can't charge the same amount for this, right? Not really? Moving out of here, the original stuffed crust. They put cheese in the crust. Yeah, Can you believe that? It is, it is so fun. That's not even biting, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last, and let's be honest, least gluten free crust. Look, I don't know what's going to gluten now. Is that even I'm much of a crust? <laughs> I'm looking at this, I'm just like, I'm sorry guys, I mean, is this is how much I don't know how you can enjoy this. And for a limited time, pizza in the U.S. at Detroit Style Pizza! Yeah. Let's go! Let us go okay. look at this. Are you kidding me with this? Detroit Style Pizza, what's Detroit Style? Well, they cook it in a square pan that has, like, sides to it. It's like when you cook brownies and every brownie is, like, a corner or end piece. It's like that for pizza. So every huh. slice is going to have the crispy yeah. crust on the outside it's thicker. One of my favorite pizza styles. I'm glad pizza is doing it. Never seen it. Not the best Detroit pizza I've ever had, but it's pretty good. I think they go bread, cheese, topping, sauce. These are the toppings we fall under the categories classic, favorites, and delight. Very arbitrarily named, but yeah, let's jump into it. The first option is chicken sausage. This is obviously chicken sausage on pizza. Hmm, it's pretty classic. The next pizza yeah. is spice paneer. Paneer, if you don't know, is cottage cheese. We make it all over the place here in India. It's one of our yeah. favorite ingredients. We use it on everything. Chicken, but for veg people. Pizza. Not very spicy, but definitely it's got like a tangy twist to it. Next up, we have the veggie feast. It's got some herb, onion, capsicum, and sweet corn. This is next up a wholesome chili pizza. It's definitely a classic. It's something oh, you nice. all make at home. Next up, we have yeah, a veggie tandoori, uh, which I have already taken a bite of. Uh, we got this one with the Shazwan crust, so it's definitely oh, spicier yeah. than the typical pan pizza you get. And I already tasted it, and I told you I loved it. I love the spice. Next up, we have spice chicken meatballs. <laughs> it's a very straightforward pizza. Makes we got it with the cheese burst uh, filling. Next up, we have the chicken and corn delight. It oh, already yeah. has the word delight in the name, so I'm assuming it should be a I don't understand why. Right. Like it, it tastes fine. It doesn't taste and, bad at least. Uh, it's got too much going on, I would say. Personally, I would not order a pizza like this. Next up, yeah. to round it all off, this is the double chicken sausage pizza. Am I wrong oh. in saying that this is just like a that. boring version of the normal chicken sausage pizza, which has onions and... This feels a lot better. We have yeah, but I mean, a pepperoni pizza. Holy shit, this doesn't even fit on the screen. And a pepperoni lover's pizza. Which, Which one has more pepperoni? pepperoni? I, can't I can't tell. tell. The yeah. supreme pizza. And pretty much the same pepperoni. thing. Pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, onions, yeah. and that's it. But if that's not supreme enough for you, we have... The super supreme, which now they've introduced black olives. I forget that the like, American ones don't have Meat those lovers. chicken. You got Squares. Pepperoni. It's you got them bacon. to be like pepperoni. Sausage. I bet there's something else on there that I don't know. None of me. I just, it's beautiful. This next pizza is the veggie lovers. Yeah. And okay. I absolutely hate it. You want veggies, go get a salad. You want a pizza. You're not fooling me. Right? Backyard barbecue chicken. You, do you have enough beer? I think it's barbecue chicken, but I think they use barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce. Genius. Ooh. Genius. That sounds very good. This is so good. Oh yeah, a buffalo chicken. That's like surprisingly good. Pizza does not have a straight Hawaiian pizza on the menu. The only thing they have is good, right, right. Hawaiian chicken. I see obviously chicken. I see a pineapple. I think I see ham. Yeah. I think Hawaiian should just be pineapple and bacon. If you want to throw some chicken on it, that's fine. If you have a strong opinion either for or against pineapple on pizza, uh, you're wrong. It's a perfectly fine topping. I don't know why everybody's so worked up about it. Yeah, More so. pizza, and these are all part of the signature collection. Um, there are 11 oh, yeah. so pizza. Oh, yeah. Supreme. First off, the country feast. Um, 
It looks oh, yes. super saucy. It's all loaded with vegetables. There's mushrooms, capsicum, onions, sweet corn, roasted peppers, everything that you want on a country uh, themed pizza. All right, next up we have tandoori paneer. Uh, if you remember in the previous categories, we had spiced paneer. So all I'm looking for tandoori is spices. Tandoori paneer, that's good. Oh my God, that's really yum. Next yeah, up is the veggie it is. lover. It's basically got tomato, onion, it's the same thing uh, capsicum, it mushroom, and like, It'll be a lot better veg at least than the American one. Because those people badly have any action with veg. Next up we have chicken tikka. Everybody knows chicken tikka. The basic veg. It's a bit too strong. Too it's quite tiny. good. To be and I think they could have got a thinner layer of sauce. Next up, we have the Malai chicken tikka. Malai is basically pre- I don't think so, uh, I've seen Malai it. kebabs. They basically grill the chicken and then they pour the Malai on top. We have the chicken pepperoni. Double Obvious. funny supreme. You like funny? You like supreme clothes? Well, this has double of it. Minus the clothes. <laughs> Veggie supreme. Everybody in India has heard of this pizza. This is a painting. I can genuinely yeah. see this on the wall of an art gallery. <laughs> this capsicum, there's olives, so there's corn, many fucking vegetables. there's onions, there's corn again, veg, kebab, surprise. I'm curious to know ah. what's going to be surprising about this. <laughs> that it's shit, probably. Surprise, surprise. it tastes bland. Now exactly. Now penultimate signature pizza, this is the Chicken Tikka Supreme. Hell Woohoo! Basically what they've done is they've taken Every four chicken different possible. kinds of chicken and they put it on a pizza. And finally, it's good in the line of signature pizza. pizzas, we have triple chicken piece. Oh, yeah. It has it's quite new, all actually. of the above ingredients and you've also gone the extra mile and taken it with a chicken stuffing in the crust. Overall, pizza has so much chicken in it. I think all the ingredients have tasted super fresh. All the meat has also tasted really soft and juicy and delicious. And the sauce has been consistently yum throughout. Damn, Pizza Hut. Good job. As mentioned before, oh, nice. currently have a Detroit style pizza at the US Pizza Hut. This yes, is what it looks sense. like. Two slices are missing, skip lunch and breakfast to be honest. For those of you outside of the United States, Detroit is a city in Michigan. Bedroom style pizza, I really enjoy it. You can also get it as a supreme Detroit style and a meaty deluxe Detroit style. And I didn't get them because it all looks exactly like this. One yeah, common good. option on the Pizza Hut India menu is their new range of Momo Mia pizzas, which are fat pizzas this. with Momos baked what into the crust. Fuck? Now, if you don't know what Momos Would are, they're basically that? dumplings from Nepal and Tibet. Uh, they're served all across I, India. I don't think that's going to taste good. For everybody over here. They've also given a Shezwan sauce to the side, um, yeah, which right is what you right. typically eat with Momos. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't see how Momos this is working. in itself are good enough. Food Why food would you put them in a crust? A of pizza and then bake them it's not like cheese where it's a topping or something. We also have a range of flavor fun personal pan pizzas that you can get with a host of new flavors. Huh. Starting off with classic oh, yeah. corn. Next up we have the classic onion and capsicum, tandoori mushroom and corn. Uh, so it looks similar to this but they've used tandoori sauce and they've added mushrooms. Next up we have the classic paneer, onion and capsicum. Then we have the classic chicken sausage, but personal pan size. Next we have the Italian pepperoni and onion. And just a reminder that the pepperoni that they've used is chicken pepperoni. Tandoori yeah. chicken tikka and onion and the classic loaded chicken delight. Personally, I wouldn't order these pans. I would get the large pizza so they tasted way better. On top of set menu items, we can also customize our pizzas in unique ways. For example, if you don't want tomato sauce as your base, you can sub it up for creamy garlic parmesan, barbecue sauce, you know before, buffalo sauce, or a no sauce option if you no are a maniac. Sauce. And if you what want, you can specify white, right. regular, or extra sauce. Unfortunately, we can't change the sauces yeah. on our pizza bases, but I don't we have custom want to. toppings that you will not find in the US, like baby corn, sweet corn, herb veggies, Spice paneer and Anything vegetable. Like. And we also have exclusive toppings you cannot get in India. For instance, we have pork, bacon, pork. Our Italian yeah. sausage has pork, bacon, uh, I believe it's pork, meatball, beef, and pork, so. and pork, and then beef and pork. Then the vegetables. We got white onion, 
We got pineapple, which is a fruit, and we have banana pepper, which I don't know if it's a fruit or a vegetable or a pepper. Are peppers fruit? Whenever we have the option to right. customize <laughs> on food wars, we like to combine like all of our exclusive ingredients to make an India-only pizza. So this pizza has a Shazam <laughs> okay, base with baby corn, wedge kebab, spice paneer, and herb wedges. It looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, but that's because you literally put it all on one. Hmm. I can see why Pizza Hut didn't put this officially on their menu because maybe the ingredients yeah, yeah. go down that way together. But hey, this is an India only Pizza Hut pizza. And that means something. And of course, we <laughs> have it our own US only pizza. So, thin, crispy base. It's going to be a little bunch of pork and beef, beef, bacon, white onion, and everyone's favorite vegetable, banana peppers. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cartoon pizza. Okay, it's not bad. It's not great, I wouldn't get it. Yeah, it tastes like onion and bacon. Don't get this. Oh. Pizza Hut has a bunch of sides. So let's start off with the bread. First off, we have cheese garlic bread. Then we have uh, spicy supreme cheese garlic bread. It's basically cheese like melted on top of a garlic bread Oh, like I've seen it, I don't think anyone has this. And chopped onions, it's very delicious when it's hot. Mexican Maybe. garlic bread sticks, oregano, oh, yeah. sprinkled on top. They make weird bread sticks. Chopped olives like and onions, it's, it's really delicious. And stuff. Creamy garlic bread sticks. And finally, yeah. we have garlic bread sticks. In a little packet, it says garlic bread sticks. Yeah. The US Pizza Hut only offers regular breadsticks and cheesesteaks. So, in fact, the only actual exclusive side that we have in the US is fries. We have a bunch that of would be sides, quite good to be fair. Baked cheesy momos wedge and baked cheesy momos non wedge. Makes sense, yeah. Oof, that's a potent smell. You know what? I mean, if they're gonna put momos in the crust, why not Next just put them on the menu as well? Which are pretty much tater tots. We have the yeah. indie rock and roll veg and the indie rock and roll non veg. Nothing it's rock and roll. But I like how the rap is kind of. Average. No, again, it's quite good. I mean, out Next of the world, it's the bang zesty average. Especially. Pocket and the zesty chicken pocket. Uh, these are pretty much like yeah, pizza pockets. Sense. There's some mint mayo, some normal mayo, some cream cheese, chicken. And jalapenos. We have jalapeno poppers. Uh, I imagine they're just filled with cheese this. and some jalapeno bits. Oh, ooh, I did not expect that consistency. People and have... that brings us to an old classic chicken wings. Spicy yeah, baked yeah. chicken wings. So I suppose. I don't think anyone has it from Pizza Hut, but wing it's quite good. Street wings. Yes. Both traditional huh. and boneless. You can get them the following flavor lemon pepper. Oh, let's go, lemon pepper. Yeah, that, that, that looks good. good. Ooh, honey barbecue? Ugh. Let's get these things out. Condensation. Ah, ooh, the medium buffalo. Ooh, Cajun style. Eh, just okay. Spicy garlic. Let's make it. That's wings with nothing on it. Why would you do that? I don't know. Buffalo burning hot. Three flames. Mm. Uh, yeah. This should be a medium. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Sweet chili. Am I sweating? I feel like I'm sweating. They're all just, eh. You know, I mean, I like wings. Maybe my wing standards are too high. Garlic crumb. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We have one wing there when I tell you. Oh, my God. Stuff. I mean, this sounds like pasta sauce. It's really That's pretty thin. much it's as many pizzas you can get. It's just like sitting in the sauce. And it's you get a half pizza. Sauce and and these come in courses are 6, 12, 18, or 36. And next on the menu, you can also find a range of pastas, starting with the cream yeah. mushroom. I mean, you, where do you can get pastas I like that? Almost so everywhere. Long. Fast food. Yeah. Just get, get some of the bowl, Mike. What the fuck? Yes. Decent pasta for a fast food restaurant. They have a cheesy comfort veg pasta and a cheesy comfort chicken pasta. It's too gooey. We have the spiced tomato twist veg pasta, the spiced tomato twist knowledge pasta. If you yeah. come to Pizza Hut to order pasta, exactly. I hope we never cross paths. Nikhil, you have no idea. We absolutely love our carbs in this country. Of course. And as you can see, we have bowls Shock. and bowls of carbs that we call pasta. You can get four exclusive oven baked pastas 
Hat Hut. Pasta Hut. Hat Pizza Hut. Pasta Hut. And then you can They all taste terrible. All right? Yeah. You can get a <laughs> oven baked chicken Alfredo. Don't get this. Or if you don't like chicken, you can just get cheesy Alfredo. And then, of course, we have the Italian yeah. meat pasta, which is pepperoni, Italian sausage. Mm. Oh, oh, Italy. Oh, Italy. <laughs> so sorry. And lastly, <laughs> oven baked veggie pasta. I mean, this, this, is, this is a doorstep. I, I can't stand the Pizza Hut pasta. I cannot stand it. You see the sauces, you know what time it is. So, so, so. I've watched so many of these now. Blue cheese sauce, then you get ranch. Ooh, a garlic sauce. Standard, standard. You can have a honey barbecue sauce. A Thank medium standard. buffalo sauce. And standard. a cinnamon marinara, just for a dip in your breadsticks. And Not also, that standard, icing, icing, cinnamon icing for the cinnamon. cinnamon and there's no cinnamon 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 cinnamon. I really want to see Joe dipping some pizza Let's in the cinnamon is sweet. and eat it. What? <sighs> Oh! <laughs> That's one! At first I was like, yuck, but this is kind of good. And now I want to dip your dips. You learned something. First off, oh. we have tomato ketchup. Uh-huh. Amazing, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> then we have uh, mayonnaise. Fun fact, it's veg mayonnaise. It doesn't have yeah. an egg because a huge population of this country is pure vegetarian. Uh, this is every single food inside. Even egg. Then we have a cheese dip, and finally it's a Szechuan sauce, and they serve, they serve mm. it with the momos, they serve it with a yeah. bunch of other things. Yeah, we got desserts, you're not gonna find in India. That includes down here the cinnamon sticks, cinnamon they're like bread sticks, only cinnamony. Sweet, oh, oh, oh. Get your mind out of the gutter. Uh. And then we, got, we have here are the cinnamon, I was gonna say that looks mini weird. cinnamon rolls. This is the triple Ooh. chocolate brownie. That looks quite good. I had to guess. Two pounds. What do you got here? The ultimate chocolate chip cookie. I mean, that's just right? one massive cookie. It's like a frizzle. And for all you sweetie pies out there with sweet foods, here are India's what? exclusive desserts, starting with a choco lava cake. Hey. Hey. The that is, but without a doubt, the best thing to come out of pizza. Hut. It's the only thing much better. You Next prefer we get a whole range of ice cream from quality to like balls, any other India's fast food. Biggest ice cream manufacturers. You can get a tiny tub of yeah, chocolate supreme sundae. Then you can get a cornetto yeah. cone, super delicious. And I really love the end of this because it's just a block of chocolate. And I used to fight over this yeah, with my friends. Then you get a magnum. Everybody loves a magnum. And yeah. finally. You can even get a family pack of ice cream. What? Soda! Last exclusive are of course the drinks. Exclusive. Most countries have Pepsi, but the pizza in the US yeah. you can also get wild cherry Pepsi. Orange crush. Yeah, I've seen that. Mountain Dew, baby. Probably Zero get that. Which I didn't have. And Aquafina. Here in Pizza Hut India, our exclusive drink options are Pepsi, 7up, Mirinda, and Pepsi Black. They also serve an iced tea at the restaurant, but they don't deliver it, unfortunately. Huh. I would have gone for the iced tea. Yeah, it makes sense. Alright, now let's take a look at Money Pizza Hut's pricing. Let's particularly go. some clever marketing tricks they're using to make you believe you're getting more value for money than you actually are. Ooh. In the US, a medium cheese pizza and the pan crust will cost you $13.49. In India, a medium mountain will cost you 319 rupees, which is currently 3.93 US dollars. That means over here you are paying 11.9 cents per square inch of pizza. While over here in India, you're just paying 4.4 cents per square inch of pizza. That makes the US pizza 170% more expensive. That is Generally quite pizza, insane. Generally, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. A US large has a surface area of 153.9 square inches and costs $15.49. That brings the cost per hmm. square inch down to 10 cents, making it 15% cheaper than enough, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Pizza Pop Quiz, which has the higher surface area. One medium pizza or two personal pizzas. A if medium. you said two personal pizzas, congratulations! You're an idiot. 
Yeah, because of course. When it comes to calculating the surface Why area of the circle, it? small changes in diameter can create huge differences in surface area. Ooh. On the Pizza Hut India website, you can get a combo offer of two personal pan pizzas for rupees 279. However, a medium pizza costs pretty much the same. But, yeah. yes, if you want two different, different flavors, flavors pizza, that's it makes sense to go with the combo. In this medium cheese pan crust pizza, it is 1,940 calories, 79 grams of total fat, pizza 33 grams of saturated, like a lot more 244 effect, grams of carbs, and the sodium is The last video I was with McDonald's looked just like half this for a meal. Milligrams. A medium margarita pizza in India will cost you 1,377 calories, total fat 40.29 grams, which saturates are 14.7 grams. 500 calories difference. That is, I mean, to be fair, actually, the size difference. Yes. Now, the American stats look a lot worse, but I do want to point out that our medium is much larger than India's. So, yeah. if you break it down per square inch, you'll see that. The U.S. version huh. does have more fat and more saturated yeah. fat, but India's pizza Surprise. actually contains more calories, carbs, and sodium. But what about the most calorific item on the Indian menu? If you no, really want supreme. to disappear day, or like you have chicken to order the medium wedge surprise huh? kebab pizza with wedge what? kebab stuffed crust. Really? Before one of these pizzas will contain 2,673 calories. Yeah. That's 133.65% of your daily caloric intake allowance. Oh my god. Okay, the calories are high, but the sodium is even higher. There is 6,344 milligrams of sodium fuck? in here, which is 275% of your daily recommended allowance. What about the most calorific pizza in the US? Oh, this is going to be weird. large pan crusted too much. meat lovers, which this Thanks. isn't. So imagine yeah. bigger and thicker. Okay. An entire one of these contains a whopping 3,570 calories. It's 178% your America, and the sodium is even 3,500 calories in one pizza. That is insane. That is 298% your daily recommended amount. Also, Even if you pizza, share it with two people, that's almost your daily like intake. <laughs> madness. Absolute madness. Just a fun fact in case you're a geometry nerd. Pretty good video from Food Insider. Quite enjoyed it.